Okay, let's start on the first question here. Okay, let's read the question. If there are 20 chromatids in the cells, how many centromere are there? Okay, let's focus uh, on this word first. Okay, I'll try to click on this one, but the computer is not responding. Okay, done. Okay, here, 20 chromatids in the cell, and the question will be how many centromeres are there? Okay, let me tell you about the differences between these words. First of all, I'm talking about the chromatin. Okay, as the word uh, reflected, the chromatin, here, take a look. The chromatin is, well, perhaps coming from the word tin. So, it consists of centromeres in the middle, and then here, you are the place where DNA located, but it's not condensed yet. While the cells going undergo into the divisions, which is mitotic or meiotic divisions, the, the chromosome will condense a little bit, they all become a thicker. Then the word changes into the chromosome. And then by the time it reaches the first mitotic divisions, which is called the prophase, the chromosome will duplicate themselves into something like this. And then here, every arms of the chromosome becoming something called the chromatid. There you are, the chromatid. That's the reason we talk about the, the word here. What's the difference between here and here? Actually, they will be the same. Let's say here we got the, the genes A, capital A, and it, this small a, and we got over here capital B and small b, and this is the, the symbol for the dominant genes and here you are the symbol for the recessive genes both we call it the sister chromatid okay got it so eventually if you want to know whether uh, this is a one chromosome or not or not look at the middle here at the the name for the middle part the centromer uh, okay now let's take a look back to the question here i give you some pictures about the karyotype Let's say chromosome pair number one until pair number 22, we got here. Where is the chromatid here? Okay, where is it? This is not the chromatid, this is the called homologous chromosome. The homologous chromosome is like a one here. Okay, I'll, I'm going to uh, use a different kind of color here. Here, coming from your father. Uh, like I, like we know and like I said before that half of our chromosome coming from our father while the other half coming from our maternal parents which is our mother and then okay which one coming from the uh, uh, father okay of course this is why the chromosome <clears throat> now let's take a look here this is the kind of the chromosome that's not uh, uh, developed into the chromatid okay it's not yet entering the mitotic uh, division called the prophase it's still on the form of the chromosome. Uh, now, back to the question. If there are 20 chromatids, mean what? Uh, it means something like this. Okay, here, I'm, I'm telling you this. Let's say there are... Do not, uh, don't mind about the, the number of the... How many sets of the chromosome. Let's say something like this. Remember, if you want to know how many chromosomes it is, just look into the centromere. Okay, if, I, if my question will be like this. How many chromosomes are there? One, two, three, four, five. Simple. Five chromosome. Okay, I'm going to write this. There are five chromosome. Let's say I'm going to ask you how many chromatids. Your question, uh, your answer will be double the number of the chromosome, right? Because it has, let's say, chromosome number one, number two, number three, four, and five. And then number one has two chromatids, right? Here on the left side. And then on the right side. Well, I'm not using a different color like Likewise, I did on the carrier type because it's coming from the same chromosome. It's only duplicate. That will be different with the homologous chromosome. It's coming from different part of the cells. It just, this is coming from your uh, father. This is coming from your mother. That's the reason I'm using. I differentiate the color over here. Now, back to the question. How many chromosomes? Five chromosomes. How many chromatids? Double the number of chromosomes. You got ten chromatids. If the answer is going to be like this, then I'm going back to the question. If there are 20 chromatids in the cell, how many, cro uh, how many centromere are there? That will be, you are going to make it half of the 20. That will be, the answer will be 10. Right? Because, let's say, 5 chromosomes having uh, 
10 chromatids uh, and then if I have 20 chromatids there you, there you are I only got uh, 20 chromatids then I got 10 chromosome and then 10 chromosomes mean how many centromere because one centromere dedicated only with the one chromosome number 15 the answer is 10